And DeBoer's already winning over Bama fans who have been waiting anxiously ever since Nick Saban announced his retirement. Wait, they don't Xavier Larry spent the day in the community getting fans' reactions. On Wednesday, Nick Saban shocked the world with his retirement from coaching. Since then, the question was who will replace the legendary figure? A few fans comment on who they initially wanted. I was hoping Sark might, might look at it and actually, you know, consider it a little more. I want to double Sweeney. Uh, I love the passion that he brings to the game. Uh, he's an upright man, and he's also a former Alabama alum. Personally, I wanted D'Amico Ryans to get a uh, shot, uh, being that, you know, we're former teammates is one thing, but the type of player and teammate and person D'Amico is, I knew that he would be big enough to to be in that, that position that Coach Saban left behind, being that he retired. None of these fans got the coach they expected, but bringing in Kalen DeBoer satisfied them, to say the least. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a, a good move. I think uh, Saban is left in a really good spot, and I think, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can keep the momentum moving forward. I'm, I'm excited because he took Washington, who was not uh, a well-renowned program, to the national championship. Uh, so I, I figured being at Alabama, having more resources, and Nick Saban sticking around, I think the chances of next year having a great season are really high. I got excited because, I mean, he's a winner. That's all that we really want to do in Tuscaloosa is keep winning and keep giving the, the student athletes the best chance to, to not necessarily play at the next level because not everybody's going to make it, but to be next level human beings. And, and I know that Coach Boyer, uh, DeBoyer, and every support staff at Alabama is going to continue that. Darwin Salam, who you just heard from, is a former Crimson Tide football player. He played two years under Mike Shula and one year under Saban. He offered what it's like waiting for a new coach's hire from a player's perspective versus as a fan. You don't really pay attention to the papers as a player as much as, as a fan does, but when you don't have a coach, it's kind of like, all right, where are we going to get any type of inside scoop on who's going to be the next guy? As a fan this time around, he was able to relax a bit more. As a former player yeah. under Saban and That's now just, as a fan, Salam is excited about the future, just like many other fans across North Alabama. I'm expecting that the tie will control um, with there being a 12-team playoff, I know that we'll be in the top 12. Apparently, he's got a really good offensive coordinator, so hopefully he'll bring that. <laughs> so, Because at the end of the day, it's about developing talent and winning national championships, and I think he's proven that he can do that. All we can do now is wait till August. In Huntsville, with coverage you can count on tonight, I'm Xavier Wary with 31 News.